Hello and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. I just came off of the uh, the last run, the Zoltan Cruiser run. We actually managed to get all three achievements right off the bat, which is kind of awesome because we never have to worry about the achievements again. And we unlocked the Mantis Cruiser, the Gila Monster. It starts with three Mantis and one NG, a teleporter. So you're going to be using your Mantis to do a lot of boarding. Starts with a small bomb and a basic laser just in case you can't board an enemy ship or you can't kill him from the inside out. So pretty much uh, the, what are they called? The scout ships, the auto scouts that the rebels use. Basically that's what the missiles are for, the bomb and the, uh, the laser. So let's get started. This is a fun ship. I really like playing it. We also start with the Mantis Pheromones, which increase our crew movement by 25%. And actually, before we start, let's take a look at the achievements. Kill the crew of 20 ships by Sector 6. Should be pretty easy to do. Kill 5 enemy crew in a fight without taking hull damage or losing a crew member while using the Mantis Cruiser. Okay, we should be able to do that. If there's an enemy ship with 5 crew and we board and kill them all, then we can do this. Battle Royale. While using the, the Mantis Cruiser, kill the last enemy with your last crew member on their ship. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I might ac might actually just do this achievement right off the bat and then restart a run because this achievement is one that you don't want to have happen. This is not an achievement. This is a second prize. This is you've literally lost all of your crew and you have to kill an enemy ship on their ship with your last crew member. That's awful. So I might just get this one out of the way right now and then restart a run depending on if we get combat like really quickly here. Uh, the NG is going to go on the uh, the engines room. We have a Mantis. No, 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 no. Do I want the Mantis to pilot? No, we're gonna, we're gonna have it like this. We're gonna have two Mantises in the teleporter at all times ready to go. We're going to have a Mantis pilot and an NG on the engines. And the reason why is because if we get damage, we can always bring the NG out to do system repairs. We can't really bring the Mantis out because the Mantis sucks at repairing. The other thing that I need to actually address is that we only have one weapon power. This means that it actually takes 40 scrap to upgrade to uh, have two weapon power instead of one. It's a weak system, extra scrap required for initial upgrades. And we can only have the small bomb or the basic laser powered at all times. We can't have both. So let's let's just jump around and see what we can do. I really do like this ship. I like the Mantis ship. I like using a teleporter. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, <sighs> beam directly onto the station to avoid it. Okay, good. It worked. You actually can board these guys, but not with a level one teleporter. You have to use a level two teleporter to board the auto scouts. That's why I'm kind of annoyed that uh, it happens so so quickly, so initially here, because it didn't give me an opportunity to get my get my teleporter upgraded to level 2. I do like still getting the level 1 medbay upgrade first, but I can see you getting the uh, level uh, 2 teleporter first. There's also n like nothing here. So you know what, Let's let's do the achievement right now. Let's get this achievement done. Let's just immediately board them. Actually, let's put... Uh, we don't have a... Da, 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 da. Okay, you know what? Let's get this achievement done. Bo literally just board them right now. They only have two NGs. Which sucks, because it means that my guys are going to kill them very quickly here. But let's get this, uh, this this achievement out of the way. Yeah, yep. Yeah, let's do it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. It basically means that I need to not kill these these two crew members. Yeah, my crew members are dying. It's fine. I need to spread my crew out and beam one of them back. And send him into the death room. Let's just open. Oh, we can't open all the doors. We have one door open, though. And our Mantis is going to run around for a while. Take them on a, on a bit of a chase. 
wait for my other mantis to die, and then we will kill their crew, get the achievement, and then we will uh, restart and then actually play this uh, this uh, run the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now I can kill him. Battle Royale! There we go. Done. Escape. Trustworthy autopilot. Which one is that? Let's go, let's go back to the hangar. Uh, go back to the stats. Which trustworthy autopilot? Defeat an enemy ship with all of your crew aboard it. Okay, well that's done. <laughs> all right, back to the Mantis ship. Start a new run. Achievement number one unlocked, I guess. Get everyone back in their positions. Now we have Starger, Dangler, Ferris, and Wai Shing. And let's begin. Well, begin take two. All right, this is a standard slug ship. Should be pretty easy. Slugs die pretty quickly to the onslaught of mantises. They do have one Zoltan, which is who's an easy person to kill, but they do also have one mantis, which is a very hard, hardy unit to kill. The whole point about using mantises as invaders is they do 150% combat damage. Now, this mantis might kill my mantis, but I think we can actually make this work. When the Zoltan dies, it will do uh, 15 damage to all of my units in the room, but I think we will be able to kill the other Mantis two on one here. There we go. Now we got two fuel, one drone part, 16 scrap. We can board back, go into the med bay. It's gonna be a lot of micromanaging and time spent in the med bay. That's all right. Sorry about that delay. I had a little bit of a visitor. Where were we? Right. Healing in the med bay, it's going to be a little bit of uh, micromanaging heals on our mantises and making sure that they don't die aboard the enemy ships. It's going to be a big problem until we get the second level med bay. Oh, I will definitely attack a pirate. It's a pirate mantis ship. It's a, it's a little bit dangerous. They have two lasers which, which can do damage to us, but hopefully we can get the drop on them. And it's a human and a mantis, so hopefully we will be able to kill them pretty easily. They did have an NG kind of run by a second ago. Swap the order of our units in here. One of their shots did miss, so we will get through this without getting damaged, I believe. And with the NG, the only one that's left, we should kill him very easily. NGs are very, very poor combat fighters. So there we go, we picked up a defense drone for free. That's actually a very, very useful piece of equipment to get. The only thing is that we do need to get a drone control system to use it, but it would be really cool to get that online. Something else I just um, remembered slash realized that I haven't mentioned yet is that this ship only has the capability of having three weapons. Your normal, your average ship only has, uh, or has the capability of having up to four weapons. So this is going to be a little bit more offensively impotent in the late game, unless we get some seriously powerful weaponry, like a Vulcan, Hermes Missile Launcher, Flak Gun Mark II, Burst Laser Mark III, that sort of stuff. Distress Signal? Sure. Can't upgrade the teleporter yet, so we just got to go to the, the uh, Distress Signal with level one teleporter. Hopefully it's a pirate. Nah. It's just a Federation ship wanting an escort, and we will escort it all the way to the other side of the map. It's going to be a little bit annoying, but I will do it anyways. And this is the Rebel ship. Oh, they're trying to escape, and I'm an idiot. Okay, go to the base. Go to the burst. The basic laser. Might as well start firing on their weapon system once, because if we can t take one weapon offline, we won't get damaged. Might as well get my crew members in rooms to help with the uh, the uh, combat here. And I should have upgraded my teleporter once, because if I had upgraded my teleporter, I could actually board these assholes. Okay, one weapon is offline, that's all I needed. We do need to get the O2 system online, but let's get the shields re recharged first. Let's send the NG in to get the O2 online, and let's attack their piloting system, because if we can, if we can hit their piloting system, we can actually kill them. I wish I, I wish I had gotten the uh, second level teleporter though. I was an idiot in not doing that. But we did manage to get their piloting system destroyed, so they cannot escape. We will kill them. All it really cost us was one point of hull damage, which we might not have even been, been able to stop anyways, even if I had the second level teleporter. So 
This will be fine. We will get out of this combat with a, uh, a kill. They will not escape me. A bit annoying that uh, we kind of cut it a little bit close here, but it happens. Oh, we will actually get hit here, I think. Yeah, we got hit in the med bay. Let's send the mantises. No, let's, let's hold off on a second. Kill them first, then we'll send the mantises in to repair the med bay and the NG, and we will upgrade the uh, the uh, teleporter to level three. Okay, good. Why is it so important? Because we can actually board those auto scouts. And also it's just useful so that we can uh, take our crew members back from a ship if we are in a bad position, if we will not be able to kill the crew without dying. You know, if there's more crew than we thought. Okay, this is just a standard rebel ship. We are going to board. We will board in the piloting room, as we always do, and it's just some humans. And a anti-personnel drone, which is actually kind of dangerous, but we can kill the humans slowly. We did dodge one shot, and so I will switch over to the small bomb. Now, nah, let's, let's keep... I don't know what to do. Do I use a small bomb? Do I use the... Uh, to like take down one of their weapons? Do I just go in for the kill? I think we I think we do go to the small bomb. We try to get one kill on or one hit on their weapon system to take their weapons offline. I think that's what we do here. We're not gonna be able to kill the uh, boarding drone, so I do have to kind of flee and get the medbay powered up. Then we small bomb their weapon system. Take the small bomb offline. I didn't realize it did two damage. That's actually pretty good. Even if they repair once, they won't be able to uh, to hit me with only one laser. So let's get into the weapon room. Take care of the NG that they had down here. Didn't realize it was an NG, but he should be pretty easy to kill. The anti-personnel drone is doing a number on our Mantis though. So I'm gonna switch their positions in the room. There we go. Anti-personnel drone dead. One NG killed. There's another NG left. But they will not be able to get the, uh, the anti-personnel drone online. And we killed them. Excellent. Let's get everyone back on board. Get them healed up. And actually, we do have enough money now for a... Money? Scrap. For a second level med bay. And that is a instant purchase. I don't want to lose crew to an event. So let's make sure that does not happen by kind of uh, insulating ourselves against bad events. Federation scum, we waited a long time for this. Well, that's annoying. They do actually have a fire beam, I think, and a clone bay. So we have to take out their clone bay. And their fire beam, I think this is a fire beam, will do damage to us if they take our shields offline, but they only have the missile launcher. So it will shoot at pretty much like a random room. So that hit our doors. You know, it's not that bad, hitting our door room. Okay, we killed the crew. There's only one crew member left. I think we can take him out. I will switch my, uh, my units around just to make sure we don't die. There we go. I think that's it. That is it. Okay, good. So that's a pretty easy encounter. We just had to uh, micromanage our positions just a little bit. Mantises are really good at, uh, at killing pretty much anything. Other mantises, they take a lot of damage, so it's a little bit more tricky. And against rockmen, they will have to... Uh, they will have to hit the rockmen more because they have more health. Zoltans. Zoltans do explode, but usually you're okay fighting Zoltans unless you fight a whole bunch of them at once because they have such little HP that the 15 damage they do to you is about normal that any other unit would do to you during a round of combat anyways, if that makes any sense. Let's go down around up to the quest beacon, maybe. Yeah, we have to go down and around to go to the quest beacon, so why don't we... Why don't we do that now, I suppose? We will probably have to fight the rebels at the exit beacon, but I, I don't mind doing that. Sure, I will lead you to your destination. It's on the way. I will investigate. I will invite him to join our crew and we get Charlie the engine man, which is nice because then 
we can have Wai Xing be a mobile repairman without disrupting our dodge chance and also uh, you know, just having an extra crew member is good. We can put the NG on the we shield system, probably. I was gonna say weapons, but we don't have very good weapons at this point, so shields is probably more important so that we take less damage overall. There's nothing here, but there are two quest beacons in a row, so let's see what we get. We get free scrap and 44 scrap total, which is not enough really for any real important upgrades, so we'll probably just save our scrap to get a bar of shields. Getting a second bar of shields is going to be very, really good because anything that improves our defenses, like in this encounter for instance, is nice so that we have more time to kill the enemy, you know? Anything that prevents us from taking damage allows us to kill the enemy without necessarily them killing us, doing damage to us. Oh, we got a lucky miss there. I will toss in a small bomb on their weapons, just to keep them offline. There we go. And now we should be safe from any damage. They probably haven't, yep, they have another crew member that they've already sent up into the piloting room, but they are dead. Pick up 20 scrap. Good. Get everybody healed up. Dangler and Ferris, they're going to be really good at combat here pretty, pretty shortly. Six more kills and like 12 more kills before they are at max level, and then they will be a force to be reckoned with. All right, let's get the second bar of shields. Exit is already behind enemy lines, but we can visit two more beacons before we have to go to the exit. So hopefully we can maybe pick up some extra sh uh, engine power, allowing us to get out of the com the uh, exit combat quicker, you know? Ah, this was very nice. We got in some extra shots on the crew member who was in the piloting room before their other crew member from the uh, weapons room managed to make it up there. So we did a little bit of extra damage to him. Got hit for one. Shields are gonna be offline in a second. Nothing really I can do about it. Here it goes. Oh, their weapons are offline. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Our shields are completely offline as well, but their weapons are offline and we are killing them, they're dead. Get everybody healed up. Excellent. Uh, crap. Wasn't able to get the uh, shields online again, which isn't that much of a problem, but it does mean that, uh, I think you have a better chance of the ion blast hurting more systems. Like, the shields kind of disrupt or diffuse the ion pulse that comes in or something like that. I don't know. In any case, we're doing pretty well. More combat, excellent. We actually can take out the ship. I will attack the ship. F first of all, it has no shields, which is n really good. Actually, yeah, it has no shields, so I don't even need to board and attack them. But wait, yeah, so let's, let's not. Let's not worry about boarding them at all. Send Dangler into the weapons room and Ferris into the door room, I guess, just for this round of combat. Basic laser can take down their piloting system. And their Ion Blast can take down one bar of shields, but not two. And this is, you know, one reason why getting the second level of shields is very important. So that we can uh, actually do combat like this and not take damage. We can just take our time. It's going to take a minute. This basic laser does not do very much damage at all, but you do what you do. You do what you have to. Charlie and Starger can get trained up a little bit more. What I could do is I could actually just not kill this ship and let them continuously shoot me and get everybody trained up on shields, piloting, and engines. But I'm not going to do that. That's, uh, I'm not going to say it's cheating, but it's cheesy. A little bit too cheesy for my taste. Nine more scrap. Not all that much scrap, but we did manage to get one more bar of engine power out of it, and we can go to the exit beacon two missiles a three shot laser probably like five crew members so what i'm actually thinking is we get the small bomb powered up we get the engines and shields powered up to max and we don't worry about killing the crew we actually just flee from this combat as soon as we can we shoot one missile at their missiles or at their weapon system maybe take their missiles offline try to dodge as much as possible, get hit a whole bunch, I guess. 
get the NG in there to repair. We're taking a lot of damage, which isn't good. Let's keep shooting missiles. ABS locked, we're gonna take damage. We're gonna take a lot of damage from this encounter, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna get hit here in our weapons room, so our weapons are now completely offline. There's not much we can do about this right now except push through. Oh god, stop hitting our piloting, you assholes. Get it online! Get out of there! Um, oh, I'm getting eaten. I'm getting torn to hell up. Get things repaired. We gotta get out of here, like, right now. Oh my god, don't die. This was such a bad idea. Oh my god, we made it. <laughs> go, just get out of here. Don't go to Zoltan Sectors. Oh my god, do not go to Zoltan Sectors. Get this shit repaired up, you assholes. I hate you all. Oh, uh, there's a breach somewhere. Oh my god, that was so bad. We took so much damage from that. I think the shield room has a, uh, a breach in it. Well, that was not very fun. No, there it is. Get that repaired, would you? Jesus. We, we're alive! And as long as we can visit a store, we should be able to, you know, make a comeback. But I'm not happy about how that went. The double missile launcher just, you know, piercing our shields, doing a ton of damage to us. Man. Okay, no more breaches. 4 HP! Really do need a drone control system, I think, because we do have a defense drone. We just don't have a way to really use it right now. A couple of nebulas seems nice. Maybe it'll be nice and easy. Just intruders. Well, that's very annoying. Not much else. Just deoxygenate the entire ship. Force, force them into us. They are going into the med bay, which is nice. Because our mantises can eat them up. And get some, uh, some e even more level ups. Try to get these guys healed up while I'm fighting this combat and they're all dead. And that was very annoying, but at least we didn't take any hull damage. Go to one more nebula jump here, hopefully we get something out of it. Nope, just more invaders! Okay. I see, I see how it is, game. We're gonna be like this, huh? They decided to go into our oxygen room, which is not very good. Just gonna micro some people around and they are dead. Okay, well! <laughs> Man, screw FTL, this game sucks. <laughs> okay, okay. We can come back. We can come back, don't worry. It can happen. It can happen. Store! With only 8 scrap, unfortunately I can't go to the store. That's only 4 HP, which does double our HP, but it's not all that helpful. Okay, let's see where this lands. It lands on the shield system. Of course it lands on the shield system. Of course it lands on the shield system. Okay, don't hit the- don't hit the teleporter. We teleport over because a second level teleporter is enough that we can bring our people back without them dying. Our shields are back online. Their weapons are being destroyed. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Bring them back. They have 10 health. You can do it. You can do it. You can- you can time it exactly correctly. A little bit hard, but you can do it. Okay, get the small bomb online. We've got a bomb. We actually, we, we don't got a bomb. We don't got a bomb. Keep the, uh, keep the shields, keep the oxygen online. We can kill them with the basic laser. We do have to send our mantises over one more time to take down their shields, and then we can start using the basic laser. We're doing good, though. We can, we're, we're doing just fine. We can get out of this combat. Okay, board, shields. Take their shields offline. We can do two damage to a system before we have to bring our mantises back. 
Shields are offline, so now we attack their... Probably their piloting system first. Oh, we missed, but we're still gonna attack their piloting system first. And pause, and bring them back. Nine health. Get these people healed up. Might as, might as well actually keep our uh, engines online and their weapons online, just because we can actually get a little bit of extra dodge leveling out of it, I guess. Especially now that we actually can uh, power up the engines a little bit more. No reason to shoot the uh, piloting system again. I should have sh focused on the weapon system, because they're going to bring their weapons back online in a second. There it goes, and now it's offline. Perfect. Oh no! Oh, actually, they hit our weapons. It's kind of annoying. It doesn't really affect the combat all that much, except make it take slightly longer. Hit their shields, then pilot, then weapons, and then that should kill them. Hit their shields first, so that I, so that I do not have to send my crew over anymore. Keep their shields offline. Hit their piloting system. For some reason, the power's not going back in the shield system when they hack after an ion pulse. It's very annoying. It's very annoying indeed. They're dead. Three fuel, 17 scrap. We're still alive. There is a store. I'm going to go to the store. After I visit the distress beacon, hopefully this doesn't kill me. Uh, we will hail them. We will attack the pirate ship. Oh, thank God. This is an encounter, which is very nice for us because we cannot take damage from this encounter. They do not have the capability of damage, damaging us, so I will try to kill their crew. They do have a mantis, which is annoying. We will have to flee via the teleporter very quickly here. Pretty much just as soon as it's able. Actually, let's get them moved around. And return! And get them healed up. They don't they don't have a med bay, which is what's nice about this. Even if it even if it takes me a while, I can kill them. You know, we're getting we're getting shield levels. We're gonna get some extra piloting levels very very slowly, but it will happen. And send our crew back over. Mantis is dead. They probably have, you know, an NG or human or something. An NG and a Rockman. Rockman's gonna die in a second. And NG, NG, you should just offer to be a crew member aboard my ship because there's no way you're getting out of this alive. Picked up some extra scrap. Make sure we recover our crew. And let's go to the store. We need to heal. Healing's gonna be cheap. So that's good. But we do need to heal. Oh, the fire beam. So good. Unfortunately, we don't have an ion weapon. And it doesn't really work well with what we've got going on right now. We need to, we need to heal more than anything else. So let's get the healing done. It's gonna be a lot of scrap, but there we go. Back up to green. And I would actually like to keep the defense drone. Uh, you know, being able to stop enemy missiles would be nice. We've seen that we have a bit of a problem with missile defense. Mantis pheromones, not all that useful. I will sell it. It's, it's okay to hang on to, but we really don't need it. And get you guys healed up. Good. Now, what do we what do we do? What do we focus on on this ship? Do we focus on upgrading the teleporter to level three? Do we focus on shields on engines? Yes, is the answer to your question. Um, meaning that I'm not entirely sure what we focus on myself. One beam, one laser, they won't be able to kill me, so our mantises will be able to take their shields offline. And now that their shields are offline, we can send in the basic laser on their piloting system. Keep their piloting offline so that they can't escape and that we don't miss our shots in the future. And teleporter recharged. And I will depower the oxygen for a second. That's why we need to hit them and hit them in the piloting system and reduce their dodge chance because we are missing with our basic laser. And I will send the mantises over again. Why not? Oh, come on. Stop with your missing. Hit them in the 
engine system, reduce their dodge chance a little bit, and keep them from retreating if they want to retreat in the future. I don't think the auto scout switches. Like, it doesn't offer a surrender, it doesn't try to retreat, it just attacks you or retreats from you immediately, kind of regardless of what you do. And there we go, their engines are offline. Now our laser can get in there and actually hit them. We're still kind of farming the occasional uh, shield upgrade and the, uh, you don't have our, we do not have our engines powered, so we are not actually getting uh, dodges. So we're not training new dodges, but now we will. Oh, let's get the, uh, let's keep the oxygen online, I've decided. Basic laser can just go in on their drone since it doesn't do anything. It's not giving us any training and it can't damage us anyways, so let's just keep it offline. Might as well attack their engines and their shields. But at this point, any attack is any hit is going to kill them. This combat did take a while, but we are alive. We're alive. Our crew are alive. We're good. 14 scrap. Probably get a couple of extra bars of power so that I don't have to keep putting things online and offline in order to get the engines, the shields, the uh, teleporter online. Don't need to hire anybody. The exit is at a nebula, which means that we oh, sell missiles. Uh, yes, please. Sell. I will sell 15 missiles. It's kind of dangerous because we do need the small bomb to damage some ships, but I think we're okay. We usually... Oh, fucking Christ, again. We usually tend to get uh, missiles out of rewards, so I feel pretty good about that. Maybe I can get them into the med bay. No, yes. Some of them are going into the med bay. It's enough. In fact, I think I can... Uh, get them all into the med bay, med bay by doing this. Are they going to destroy my oxygen system? Don't destroy my oxygen system, you asses. They didn't. Okay, good. Okay, swap these guys around so that the human's taking the attack. Get the med bay powered, you idiot! Ah, that's me yelling at myself, pretty much. And the human, hey, here we go. A vasty scurvy dogs. I guess... We already got the B-type ship, which is kind of amusing. I guess it counts if it's on our ship that we get, kill five enemies. Which is interesting, I wouldn't have expected that, but there you go. Okay. We good? Are we going to get combat that's actual combat and not just people invading us for... I think that's the third beacon. We will never surrender to slavers and you're going to be an easy target because you have no way of actually damaging us and you're piloted by NGs. The laser will give us, hopefully, an extra point of piloting. We need to get our dodge chance up a little bit more quickly than we've been doing. Ah, we get... Okay, it appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. This was a slave ship, after all. You find their burnt bodies in the hold, but before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch and a slave falls out of a hidden comp compartment, coughing. Once recomposed, the slave offers to join your crew. We get Aki the NG, which is very nice because it means that we can have someone on the weapon systems and also just another crew member is nice. Another, you know, repair person, pretty much. Uh, it's good to have one human, so I'm, I'm going to leave the human on the uh, engine system. It's good to have one human because there are human-only events in the game. And at this point, you're like, I don't, I don't really know what to upgrade. We don't have another weapon, so we can't really... I mean, we have the small bomb. The small bomb and the burst laser, they're there to take down enemy shields. They're not there to do a lot of damage. We don't really need both of them to be online. And this ship is already getting beaten up, which is nice. The asteroids... Oh, thank you, asteroid! Oh, thank you, Asteroid! And, of course, they hit me in the piloting room, which is kind of awful, but... We can send someone in there to repair it and get them healed up. Starger. And they're dead. It was a very annoying fight. We got hit with 
the uh, we got hit by a bomb once. Now we have to wait for things to charge. 104 scrap. You know, we 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 made a pretty decent comeback considering we were basically dead one sector ago. At the beginning of this sector, in fact. Manually search the wreckage. Yes, we lost Aki. Okay, that happens. I think if you have a, a, a sensor system to level two, you can avoid that. And I would have liked to have gotten a sensor system to level two, but we don't have a sensor system at all. We have to buy it from the store first. I will attack the pirate. We, so, you know, we lost Aki, whatever. We got them for free from a combat anyways. So I'm not too sad about it. We'll board. They do have a Mantis. They got a couple of shots off on us. They do have a Rockman too. Which is annoying, but the Rockman, or the Mantis is going to be dead in a second because the Rockman took so long to get to the piloting room. We're going to have them walk around one more time. So the Rockman should die in just a second. Uh, let's keep the shields online, in fact. Let's not power up the weapons. And we got Declan, a Mantis. We have another Mantis who's going to be on the weapon system that Aki was on a minute ago. Okay, pretty decent. We do have four mantises. It would be nice if we could board with four mantises. But not now. Maybe later. For now, let's get out of this sector. We picked up a lot of scrap, some upgrades. Still don't have any weapons, unfortunately, that are really worth mentioning. Uh, rock controlled, please. Abandoned sector is awful. Abandoned sector is Lanius, means no oxygen. A pain in the ass to deal with. And because we can't board them, we would probably just die. So, Rock Sector it is. Rock Sector is not bad. Rock Sector is pretty good. I will sell you missiles. We've been picking up missiles. We don't need bombs if we can board the enemy ship. I will aid the civilian ship. They do have a heavy ion, but they can't actually damage us at all. So this is actually a situation where we will probably need to use a small bomb. The reason for this is they have a med bay. And if they are in their med bay healing, I can't really kill them all that much. So what I'm going to do, they don't have a door system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport into their piloting room. I'm going to wound them. And then I'm going to drop a bomb into the med bay when they go in the, into the med bay to heal. So they're going to flee in a second. I just need to kill one of them basically and drop a bomb. The med bay is on fire. The human is leaving. The rock man is in there, but the rock man, he's going to put out the fire in a second, probably. Uh, don't, 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 don't kill my, uh, my mantis, please. There we go. Silver rock man in the, uh, in the med bay, but since he's not in the shield room repairing it, I can take their shields offline and then just shoot the med bay once and probably kill him. It's going to take a minute, probably. He did put out the fire, so I'm just gonna go in there and kill him. There we go, he's dead. 32 scrap, laser charger weapon. Thank you, we got a new weapon we can use. That's one of the instances where, when we do need the small bomb to take down enemy med bays. So, you know, we do need to make sure we have some missiles on hand at all times. We can't just get rid of all of our missiles. There is a store, I'm gonna go to the store. We have 196 scrap, which is ridiculous. Probably drone control. Drone control boarding would be pretty cool. Backup batteries, okay. Explosives replicator, oh, breaching bomb is great. Better than small bomb, but we do have a small bomb that does two damage anyway, so the breach is not all that important. Repair arm, not very good. Explosives replicator would be okay, but we only have the one missile weapon unless we buy another one. Okay, what do we do here? Missile defense from a drone control system would be very nice. We do have a defense drone. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's buy the drone control system. Let's sell the combat drone. Yeah, let's sell the combat drone. Keep the defense drone buy sensors we will buy
Probably nothing and upgrade our weapon system. This is pretty good. I would like to have any of these drones, but let's buy some fuel. We don't need to repair anymore, which is nice. And now let's get one, two points in the weapon system so that we can actually have some weapons online. And then we will jump. That's a pretty good store. Pretty, pretty, pretty okay. We, do, we have the capability of taking out enemy ships without using missiles, which is very important. I will aid the civilian ship. They cannot damage us at all, and they do not have a med bay, so I can kind of take my time on them. I will board in the engines room, because there's probably going to be someone in there, and if it's not a rock man, the rock people are going to take a long time to actually walk that far, so we can get some extra attacks in on the unit that was down here, the Zoltan. Zoltan's dead, rock man's going to die in a second. Contact the civilian ship, they have fled. But we did pick up three fuel and 30 scrap, which is pretty decent. Get them healed up. I need to I need to actually remember that I have the defense drone though. I would hate to take damage just by not remembering that I can block missiles now with the defense drone. Or hacking for that matter. Okay, nothing here. Unfortunate, but can't always predict predict when that is going to happen. Uh, let's buy the second level sensors. I should have done that a little bit earlier, but basically this will let us see aboard the enemy ship so we know how we are boarding. So there's two enemies. There's a rock member and a rock member. Let's board them. I know what to expect from this encounter. Now, they do have a flat gun. Flat gun fires three shots. So that means that they can easily penetrate my shields. Ah, I could... Let's try to get some shots in on them. Let's not dodge right now. Let's try to get the charge laser online and get a shot in on them. Actually, we can do that right now. Because their shields were down, we took their flak offline. I'm, now I'm going to switch over to the engine so we can actually dodge some shots. That was really good, I think. We did some good stuff there. Our HP is kind of low, so I am going to flee and heal up. They're going to repair the weapons, but they're not going to repair it fast enough. We will be able to get back in there and kill them off. I just wanted to make sure that we actually could get our mantises healed up so that they wouldn't die. You know, I don't want a random rock coming in. Literal rock, not rock man. A random rock asteroid coming in and hitting us and killing our crew members accidentally, you know? Five fuel, 27 scrap is very nice. And because we are in danger in the asteroid field, the... Uh, Teleporter is not going to re going to recharge immediately, so I do have to wait a second. Let's get them healed up. Wait for the teleporter to recharge. I think it would. I think I think it recharges when I jump. It does not. And that's fine. We only have to wait about four seconds. There's no one here, so we jump. Not to the store because we don't really need to not go to the store. We only have 48 scrap. We already went to the store a minute ago. Oh boy, more intruders! Wonderful! <sighs> I'm just gonna send the mantises and the uh, the NG in here to just attack these guys. We have the numbers and the HP. Especially with additional combat people in there. FTL's charged, ready to go. Let's just get everybody healed up. God, this combat is so annoying! That's like the fourth beacon this run. That's when you know you're having a, a, a good FTL, one, FTL run, when you never can actually get combat rewards from anything. Okay, we picked up an anti-ship beam drone Mark II. Repeatedly attacks with a large beam weapon, requires three power, moves pretty quickly. Unfortunately, it only works when the enemy shields are down, so we actually have to kill, or, or destroy, I should say, the enemy shield system. Or we have to... Let's go to three three more beacons and then the exit. Uh, or we have to hack the enemy shields. It's really difficult to use. I'm probably just going to sell the beam drone. Okay, we do have an opportunity to use both our weapons and the defense drone. Weapons to take out the med bay, the defense drone, to stop their missile that is going to be incoming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, going to I'm going to get the bomb 
And I'm going to use the bomb on the med bay when they go in there to heal. I am going to activate the defense drone as well. I think, yeah, let's get the defense drone online. We won't be able to dodge, but we have the shields for it. I don't want to get hit by the missile. So he's going in there to heal. We toss a bomb in there. He takes damage, med bay is offline. Now we walk in there and we stop them from repairing it. Two fuel, 26 scrap. And I think we did get a missile out of that as well, so we didn't spend a missile so much. Okay. Make sure everything is online and powered the way I want it. Yeah, it looks like we totally can go to two more beacons here, which is actually really cool. I should have probably gone to the other beacon in case we have a... Um, hail them and see what's, what's wrong. Demand the rock ship, pay the greed upon price, and then we have to fight them. That's fine. Um, I'm sick and tired of paying the uh, rock man debt and then having nothing happen with the slug men. Or having to pay again to get a reactor, reactor upgrade. So why don't we just do this instead? Two of them, no med bay, should be pretty easy to kill, and I will attack them in the engine room, just because. That way they leave the piloting room and they don't have a dodge chance. I might even be able to get my weapons online and attack them before they get a chance to get their, their missile powered. I don't think it's that important, but just in case it works, let's try it out. I can get only one, I can do this with only one bar of shields because they only have an ion, they don't have a laser. We did not take their missile offline. Oh, but we killed them before they managed to make it work. So the rock is dead, we scrap them for supplies, we contact the slugs. They offer us a reactor upgrade for 14 scrap. I will pay it because it is technically cheaper than doing it yourself. So why not do it now? We're going to do it in the future. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Didn't need to use a defense drone at all, which is nice. Now we have an extra point of reactor power that we can spend, or that we can hold on to. And maybe use to power up a weapon or something. Oh boy, more rocks. I always love more rocks. They're attacking us in the engines room, and honestly, I think I can just kind of swarm them and board them at the same time. So let's, let's do that. Mantises, human, NG, all coming together in common cause, killing the rock men. No point in really having anything else online. I will want to get somebody into the piloting system maybe when the bomb comes in, but the bomb doesn't do hull damage either, so I don't really mind if it hits anywhere. Uh, I mind if it hit that. Holy crap. Get in there and repair the uh, freaking teleporter ASAP, you idiots. Get that online. Holy crap. Don't let our crew members die because they took out our teleporter. Get it powered up, and you know what? You guys are going over. <laughs> that seemed a little bit weird there, but I need to send people over to kill this last rock man. There we go. We, we got it done. Six fuel, 27 scrap. Get everybody back. Get everything repaired. Okay. That could have been dangerous. They hit our teleporter with the bomb, and as a result, our crew members were stuck, and they couldn't flee when they had low HP. Something you gotta... Be very aware of at all times, and luckily we managed to get it repaired without needing to kind of run our crew members around, dodging the enemy. Which sometimes you have to do, you know. Alright, there's the exit. Let's get some more reactor power so we can dodge and we can get out of this combat as quickly as possible. We have a defense drone we can use against missiles. This should go a lot better than it did in the past. They do have a lot of laser shots, though. They got a lot of laser shots. Um, let's get the small bomb and maybe try to take out their weapons. Oh, get your ass in there, you idiot! Who are you? Declan? Get in the weapon system, Declan, you idiot! We're not boarding them, so let's not even worry about getting the uh, system online. Small bomb's gonna take too long to charge. They will get some shots off on us. We will take some damage here. We got hit twice, including the piloting system, which we need to get repaired so we can get out of here. We did take one of their lasers offline, though, so get the piloting system back online. ASB's coming in. 
Yeah, shoot another missile. We got hit in the teleporter, that's not bad. Okay, we will get out of this, we will get out of this. We might get hit by one more laser, hopefully not. Good, actually. Okay, now let's go. <laughs> I just wanted to get one more hit in and we did manage to get a level up out of it. Oh man. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. Not as much as we have taken in the past in similar situations, so that's fine. Everybody healed up. Get the teleporter fixed. Get the mantises in there to repair the med bay, I guess. Get the human in here to help repair the uh, teleporter. Okay. We're okay. We took a uh, we took five points of damage in that encounter. Much better than the last time we uh, met the rebels at the exit beacon. Uh, let's say that. Let's say that as a fact. Okay. Distress signal, beacon, distress signal, forward. Distress signals are very good. We will give them two fuel. They will give us 38 scrap. That is definitely worth it. I will hail them. It is a refugee ship drifting through the system. Two drone parts for nine fuel. That is very worthwhile. Eight drone parts should go far. These defense drones, we're only going to be using these in certain situations. Ah, giant alien spiders. Let's leave them alone. I hate that encounter. There's only a couple of ways in which you can get out of it with a blue option, and we have none of them. Aid the civilian ship, absolutely. They will not board us because they do not have a boarding. They do not have any way of boarding us. I will use a charge laser, basic laser, and try to take down their med bay. And because they have a door system, I'm not even going to board them quite yet. I'm going to wait. They will fire a bomb at us. It's going to happen. It's got to happen. But if I can take their med bay offline, no need to auto fire. Well, we missed. If I can take their med bay offline, I can get in there and actually kill them. And I'd like to use this without using a bomb. As long as they don't hit our shield room, good. We should be fine. Sensors are jacked, but that's got to happen. And then I think we just board them immediately. Hopefully there's not a fire in there. Holy crap. Maybe we wait. I'd hate for there to be a fire in there. Fuck it. There's no fire, and it's just an NG. Good. We should be able to... to at least kill the NG, probably the Mantis as well, and then I can just always bring my crew members back, finish them off in the next pass. Might as well attack their weapon systems too. Take one of their weapons offline. Our Mantis is very wounded, but the other Mantis has plenty of HP. And this is a win. 25 scrap, five hull points repaired, very nice. That's why I don't like uh, getting maximum repairs done at stores because if you run across a situation where you get free hull repair you can't take advantage of it i like having about this amount of hp about 20 out of 30 because then if you get a you know a couple of those five hull point hull point repair beacons in a row you can take advantage of them 